Hi guys, this is Pritham. Today we are going to start chapter 3 of class 8 physics, which is uh, force and pressure. Now, I'm going to divide this chapter into three parts. Part 1, part 2, and part 3. In part 1 and part 2, we're going to learn theories. And in part 3, we're going to start numerical problems okay so today we're going to start with part one so please guys numerical problem is very important because when you are studying physics if you don't do numerical problems there is no point of learning physics numerical problems they are everything I mean you need to focus on theories but after learning theories you need to do numerical problems this is a must do okay so let's start with part one okay guys I'm going to start with force uh, okay let me tell you something uh, if you if you're getting any kind of noise that is my ceiling phone which is uh, not working properly so please ignore that okay uh, let's start with force and the definition of force says force is an act of push or pull which changes or tends to change the state of rest or of uh, uniform motion of a body I think you guys uh, have idea about these two words which is uh, push and pull yeah push and pull these words I don't think I'm going to explain this because it's very easy let's talk about which changes that which changes or tends to change the state of rest what do we understand by these words by these words change the state of rest suppose if I put my phone on the board what happens is the phone moving the phone is not moving and it is not changing its original position right so that means the phone is in the state of rest now if I push it what happens see the, f the original position is here now when I push it the original position has been changed okay or the or, uh, the next position could be here right so as uh, we can see by force the position of a body can be changed which is in the state of rest now let's talk about what do you mean by uniform motion and how it can be changed by force now let's talk about a playground okay this is our crease this is our bowler this is our batsman and the fielders are out there okay so the bowler bowls the ball the batsman hits the ball it goes up in the air and the fielder catches the ball what do you understand by this there are two things we need to understand first when the bowler bowls the ball it is in this direction and when it is in this direction and when the batsman applies force by his bat on the ball the direction is changed from this to this and when it goes up in the air and this fielder the ball is in motion the ball is in motion and when the fielder catches the ball the ball comes to rest so by this we can understand that force can change the uniform motion of a body to rest okay okay the next thing is uh, the units of force as we know we have uh, two types of units the first one is SI and the next one is uh, CGS so the SI unit of force is Newton or it can be written as N and the CGS unit of force is Dyne okay so if I talk about one Newton what is the relation between Newton and Dyne one Newton is equals to 10 to the power 5 Dyne now this is the relation okay one Newton equals to 10 to the power 5 Dyne now let's see how does it become 10 to the power 5 Newton means kg 
meter per second square okay and dyne means gram obviously kg is converted into dyne then centimeter per second square okay let's talk about one newton means one kg meter per second square so when one kg is converted into gram we get uh, thousand gram right now when meter is converted into centimeter what do we get hundred centimeter and the second second remains the same that means now it becomes thousand into hundred gram centimeter per second square now we, when you write this it becomes one two three four five gram centimeter per second square and this means 10 to the power of 5 gram centimeter per so sorry gram centimeter per second square that means 1 newton is equals to 10 to the power of 5 gram centimeter per second square means and dyne and that means 1 newton equals to 10 to the power 5 dyne now this uh, conversion process you should know okay so practice it you can do it easily and of course it is easy guys uh, now let's talk about moment of force so as you can see the turning effect the turning effect of force about a fixed point is called the moment of a force or simply moment let me explain suppose We have uh, a rod over here and this is the point with respect to this point this rod can move like this or it can be moved like this okay now this point is known as before okay let's say you're applying force over here and the magnitude of force is F and where you are applying the force from that point to this point let's say the distance be D okay so D is the distance between this hinge it is also known as hinge as well okay D and force is applied to this point and let's say this is F so your moment is going to be i mean the formula of moment is going to be m equals to force into the distance this is going to be the formula now let me tell you something suppose we have two rods of equal length and uh, which is D okay sorry uh, we have two rods of equal length okay and uh, a person applies his force over here and another person who is applying the force over here suppose this is F1 and or they are applying the same force so for whom it will be easier to rotate this in this direction in this direction let's say this is person 1 p1 and let's say this is p2 so for whom it will be easier to rotate this think for a few seconds an answer and then I'll tell you this person 1 or person 2 so if you are getting the answer as person 2 your answer is absolutely correct you know why so what is the formula of M the formula of moment the formula of moment is force into the distance yeah suppose if the distance is 5 meter and suppose if the distance is 
7 meter okay and let's say the force which is applied for both the cases the force is same which is say uh, 10 newton yeah now for this person the moment becomes 5 into 10 which is 50 yeah 50 newton meter oh obviously newton meter is the unit of moment i forgot to tell you that but newton meter is the unit of moment and the cgs unit is going to be obviously 9 centimeter which is easy yeah now let's talk about the second person let's talk about the second person what happens to the second person what is the moment 7 into 10 this becomes 70 so for second person the moment is 70 newton meter which is more than this person so it will be easier for person 2 to rotate this rod with respect to this point is that clear guys i hope it's clear okay now we got a numerical problem which is the hinge of a door let's talk about this this is the hinge of a door so the hinge of a door is one meter from the point of application of force suppose the application of force is over here i mean the force is applied over here which is f equals to 70 newton and the distance from the hinge which is d which is equals to one meter now you need to find the calculate i mean calculate the moments of force you need to find the value of moments of force it's very easy we know f equals to sorry we know moments of force is equal to f into d that means 70 into 1 70 into 1 is how much 70 and the unit is going to be newton meter this is your answer yeah let's take the next example okay let's take this numerical example a person using a 40 centimeter long handled spanner can open a nut by applying a force of 120 newton what should be the length of the handle if he wants to open the nut by applying a force of 80 newton so here we have two cases first the person is uh, having a 40 centimeter long handled spanner and uh, can open a nut by applying 120 newton force so in first case the force he is applying which is 120 newton and uh, he has a 40 centimeter long spanner that means the d becomes 40 centimeter okay now see guys we have 120 newton over here and we have centimeter over here so centimeter is in what in cgs unit and 120 newton newton is in si unit so 40 centimeter needs to be converted into meter so 40 centimeter is equals to 40 by 100 that is 0 0.4 meter so now d becomes 0 0.4 meter that means moment can be easily found out moment is equals to f into d that means 120 into 0 0.4 that means 48 newton meter right yeah so this is moment we need to find out the moment which is f into d the value of f is 120 newton and the value of d okay let me tell you what is d d is i have already told you guys where the force is applied from there to the distance of the hinge which is also known as momentum okay moment arm okay so what is moment we have found out 48 newton meter okay now let's talk about the second case now he applies a force of 80 newton okay and we have already found out the value of m which is 48 now the question says what should be the length of the handle means d is to be find, found out 
which is momentum we need to find out the length of the momentum so if m equals to f into d then d becomes m by f right that means d becomes m by f so what is the value of m we can get the value of m from here which is 48 48 and what is the value of f second time he applies a force of 80 newton so let's write 80 how you can calculate this let's see the art of calculation 48 80 can be written as 8 into 10 8 8 i mean 8 48 can be cancelled by 8 which is 6 now we have 6 by 10 and your final answer is going to be 0 0.6 what will be the unit the unit of d in uh, si in meter and when 0 0.6 meter you can convert 0 0.6 meter into centimeter which is 60 centimeter so 60 centimeter is going to be your final answer yeah so that's it guys uh, this is it in the next part we're going to learn about pressure and we'll, we will take some examples i mean we'll take some numerical examples okay okay guys we have completed part one i'll soon upload the part two and if you guys like what you see please subscribe to my channel and uh, hit that notification icon so that uh, when i upload any kind of video you get the notification and if you like what you see if you understood what i'm trying to teach you then please like it gives me motivation and of course if you have any problem please do comment below so that i can clear your confusion definitely you can comment and i will definitely reply within 24 hours this is my personal guarantee thank you see you guys in my next video bye